right, this is gonna be a doozy of an overview because there is a lot to say. This is the MHP LMG designed by MHP Arms. It is a belt fed flywheel blaster. Heath from MHP Arms, um, he designed his own, he built his own as a prototype. Um, and while he was still working on those finishing touches, we built some as well. And we kind of worked on it together to work out some of the kinks. And so this is our second prototype version. The final version may look a little different, but overall it is really fun. So the links eject out the side as they get fed in from the side. And because it's a flywheeler, you can do any type of cage setup you might want from a single stage, 120, 130 FPS to a dual stage, 300 FPS band blaster setup. So you've got all the versatility from being a flywheel blaster to adjust the power, as well as all the fun of full auto. Now, he said that he designed this because he loves full auto. Full auto is fun. But the issue with full auto is you're limited in how much you can shoot for it to reload. Full auto on a 15 or even a 30 round nag, that's pretty limited. But if you have a 50 round or even a 100 round chain or belt link, then you can have full auto and it's basically endless full auto, so endless fun. We'll just look at the blaster itself. The blaster has a battery compartment in the stock with a little lever release that you can open up and put your battery in. So super easy, a large battery compartment is convenient. It has an adjustable cheek rest that you can tighten the screws down. Mostly cosmetic, but if you like a cheek rest, then that's built in for you. The stock is also connected to the main body that you can take off for a stockless kind of SMG run and gun style. Then you have the grip and trigger. It is a single stage trigger, so you pull it halfway to rev the motors and you pull it all the way to then cycle it or fire it. Uh, then you have a bolt that you can test the cycling with and it also rotates as you fire. You have this belt cover, like a real LMG. You can open up, inspect, see the jam. You can put a link in by hand. You can close it. There you go. Um, got a Picatinny top rail for your sights or whatever have you. You also have an M-lock on the bottom shroud for your bipods and foregrips, whatever you fancy you. Then you can see that the the, the cool thing about this is if you look into a, how a real M249 or a saw squad automatic weapon works, it cycles the same way where it has the bolt that's connected to an upper cam that then rotates with a puller that grabs a link and pulls it in. Unlike a lot of toys where it, the rotation is dependent on a rotating spindle kind of style gear system, this is a belt puller system. So it is cool how it actually functions like a real LMG. You can see the flywheels in there, as well as a belt retainer and the ejection port and the pusher. It is powered off of a little blue gearbox, a toy gearbox there, um, which we'll talk about later. It has a carry handle just because, I mean, it doesn't weigh 15 pounds like a real um, LMG, but the carry handle does make it fun and it is a bit bulky and heavy. You know, if you're clearing corners all day, it can get pretty heavy with any blaster. So you can kind of do a hip fire and have that fun as well. Then if you need a quick reload, you can detach the ammo box and then you can attach another one for a quick swap. You can also open the lid and you can manually load your links in or for a quicker reload of the box, you of course can open the lid and slide the links in. Only a handful of times have I said this is the most fun I've ever had. And because it's just a fun blaster and not like super practical competitive with the chain links, it's great for HVZ, um, except for Heath was able to actually run his LMG with a 300 FPS band blaster setup fairly competitively or aggressively in our uh, high FPS events here in Utah and so with the right setup and you know if it fits your play style then it's definitely it's awesome. Um, belt link or belt fed blasters are not really common in the hub because there are a lot of technical stuff that goes in um, and it opens up a whole new realm of strategy that is required to be developed that the hobby hasn't even seen. We're used to run and gun, full auto mag dumping, um, but this is a little bit different where it's more of a suppressive fire. I watched some videos on how special forces deploy LMGs in their um, fire squads and it's definitely more of a supportive role. And so for me personally, I'm more of a, a DMR designated sniper or you know, pump action springer heavy person that flywheel support fire has never really been my forte. And when I do run flywheeler, it's usually still 
strategic rush in, find a good angle. This is just suppress the fire, keep their heads down, which is entirely new play style, but definitely good for uh, a mill sim. You can see I did uh, the green and gray in my uh, color scheme, but it, but it's definitely fun. It's like ejecting, but not shell ejecting. You can do uh, single shots pretty easy with a, a, a rev up and then, or like a real MG, you can do suppressor fire. So you've got that, the practicality of not just a full auto dump hose, but also not just a semi-auto slow rate of fire. The links are held together by the individual dart. So to load a dart, you actually load the link. And then you chain the links together. Like that. A um, Couple of things to note though is, of course it is there printed, so there are some print quality things to look out for, as if, if your dart is too tight in the link. Um, and it is best to load the link there is an arrow with the orientation, so it's not just kind of just load it however you want. The back of the link is tighter than the front to allow the darts to be retained, but not be too tight that the pusher has too much trouble pushing it through. A lot of the jams, uh, if you do get a jam, like a real LMG, it was because either the cycling or um, you get a squib or a misfire where the pusher doesn't push the dart out all the way. Um, when I ran it in, uh, HVZ, it worked too. If you get a jam, just to keep firing until it shoots out, that's really helpful where it's not a catastrophic jam, as I'd call it, where you get a jam and it breaks something. Maybe it, it breaks a link or something like that, or you get something like a dart stuck in your flywheels. I didn't have any of those jams when I first ran it. And these links, um, they are printed in TPU, so they do squish. Um, so if you have a normal PLA link, you know, and you have, if you've used uh, spring thunder shells or have something ejecting on the floor, um, it can be, prone to breakage if you step on them because of how, you know, it's kind of a, a thin print all the way around the link. So you can do TPU prints where it actually is bendy. And so you get, it still functions, so they're, they're rigid enough to function, but bendy enough that you step on them, you can just bend them back, which is way cool. The one con though is you can't have it too flexible, otherwise the pusher will just go through and then bend it and then get jammed and stuck and it won't fire. Um, that being said, you can have links as long as you want with hypothetically like, you know, all the way to the floor or longer as long as you belt. Polar has enough force to move up. I wouldn't recommend that, but like most belt feds, you do have that issue of having that enough force to pull the link in. So it is best to keep it relatively lightweight. But we'll have more information on the info page and on the listing. Let me just do some things I don't like about it, um, other than its size is, I guess it's reliability as a flywheeler. If you get a dart stuck in the barrel like you can do with, with a lot of things, it can be kind of catastrophic because you've got such a wide bore barrel, which means you shouldn't get too many darts stuck in it, but if you do get darts stuck in it, you don't pay attention. You can fill up the, 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 the barrel with darts. Um, it's just flywheelers in general. Um, definitely a, a specific play style to, to run them. Um, things I don't like about it is the build itself. Again, we had to do a lot of R&D to get it to work and stuff like that, so. Um, the design itself, what's bad about the design? It's just, just it's bell fed, so it's not super reliable right now. Um, you know, reliable, and this is one of my favorite features is you can slap it down. Oh, one of my other favorite features is this is with a uh, six dart per second pusher motor. But I even had success with a, this is a 11 or 13. So that's super fun. And surprisingly, for what it's doing, you get a lot less jams than you would think. It still is flywheeler though, so, um, and bell fed, so I'm not gonna say it's perfect. Loading the links does take a while though, so that's that's definitely a con. If you get fast at it though, it's not any longer than waiting somebody to load a couple of mags. And so 50 rounds, that's four mags. If you're leisurely loading four mags, I could probably load 50 links just as fast as you could load mags. Um, just by walking around, picking them off the ground, loading the links as I go, picking links up off the ground, and still having plenty of time to chat before the next game starts, depending on where you're at. I like to take the link, slide the dart in, Take the link, slide the dart in, and pay attention. If the, if the dart is way too tight, the pusher won't push, so I like to make sure they're a little loose in there, not too tight, depending on the dart, depending on the link. Um, used darts, work totally fine. Brand new darts may have a slight problem. Um, so you could just uh, squish it or roll it in your fingers real quick. Also, if you leave your links and they're 
plastic links and you know the PLA or whatever and you leave them in the sun you can get some warp links so just pay, as I load I just kind of pay attention because you do have the darts to worry about and the links to worry about just like you would have the darts and the mags to worry about if your mag isn't feeding all the way so there's seven It's definitely not as fast loading a mag, but it's not too bad. Take our box, open the lid, slide in the links. You do have to load the links in a certain orientation. Box, rock and roll.